Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices, one topic or one feature at a time. In today's video, we will take a look at the new Samsung Internet. Now this one is the Samsung Internet Browser Beta, and I will place this link below the video inside the description, but when you go inside of APK Mirror, this is where I get all of my you know newest updates to all of Samsung applications, you can just see that there is a new Samsung Internet Browser Beta, and that is exactly the one that I'm using here, because if we take a look inside of my Samsung folder, you can see that I have the regular Internet Browser, which this is what you know everybody has. This is what you're used to looking at. Uh, but when you take a look at this beta, and whenever this beta has been complete and it's done and all the feedback has been finished, then this will be the new Samsung Internet. So it's just called beta for right now because it is beta. Now, when you open this up, this is what it'll look like when you want to start a brand new tab. Let's say that we go to the very bottom and we go to new tab. This is what it looks like. And you can also customize this image. You can also customize these, these application icons that you see there in the middle. Again, I think that this looks much better. And you still can put your tabs on the top, which is what you were able to do from before. But when you look at this main homepage here, this was the new tab page. This is where you go to your settings. This is where you can edit those shortcuts. This is also where you can change, you know, uh, you know, your most visited pages, the news feed, and none. And then this is also where you can change your wallpaper. So if you want to have a different wallpaper, you can change. But I kind of like the way that this one looks. Now, one thing that I kind of like about this, right? Let's say that we move right on over and we take a look at this Amazon page. So what's cool is that if there is an application for what you're looking at, it'll be right here. So if you go to some link and it takes you to YouTube's web page. Then right next to where it says YouTube, it'll have the YouTube icon and you tap it and it'll take you directly over into that application. So if you are taking a look at some website and there's an application for it, you will see the icon right there that you're able to just simply tap and then open it up. Now, another cool thing that the Samsung internet is able to do, and I know, I believe uh, Google Chrome does this as well, is let's say that maybe you would like to have this page be read aloud to you. Now on the bottom, this is where you just go right there into that little sandwich icon, move on over, and this is where you can go to read aloud. And then it's gonna highlight everything and then it's gonna start reading it for you. So I can hear it right now, and I don't, know, I don't think I have it too, too loud, so maybe you can't. But this is where you can tap on the bottom and you can change the speed of it if you want it to go slower or faster. Same thing with YouTube. If you ever watch YouTube, you can actually change the speed of the video you're watching. So if I talk too slow, you can speed it up to 1.25, or if I talk too fast, just bring it down a little. Now there's settings when it comes down to the voices. So there is different voice styles. You have different languages and accents and a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, let's say that we go over into English. There's a few different voices you can choose from between all the different male and, and female. Now, if you go back a page, this is where you can install voice data. So you can download more. So underneath English, if I want to have, you know, English and then maybe Australian accent, I have a couple different voices for it. United Kingdom. So you just kind of go through here and you can just download a few of these ones. You can get it all installed. So this way you can change how it sounds. My guess is because they have, uh, you know, two of them for each. So there's two of them for United Kingdom, two of them for Australia. My guess is maybe one is male and one is female. So there is different voices that you can download for this. Also, what I like is when you go down over here inside of that little uh, sandwich icon, this is where you can turn on privacy and you can also turn on ad blocker. So I have 63 ads that have been blocked. You can also go inside of your settings and then there's even more. You have your browsing assist, you have drawing assist. Uh, you also have your search bar. Here's your layout and menu. So this is where you can change your, your menu. Uh, but originally there was no tab on the top, but I showed the tab right there. You can also show your bookmarks as well. Oh, and I also forgot to show you that you're also able to change that address bar down to the bottom. So it's easier. So again, it's closer to your thumb. And then all of those menus that you saw on the bottom of the screen, when you tap on that little sandwich icon, this is where you can also edit those and you can change those around, move them around and add in more. You also have your privacy dashboard. So this is where you can take a look at all of your trackers. So this is where you're able to block a whole bunch of different trackers and pop-ups and all of that. And that is going along with also when you take a look at your sandwich down here, the ad blockers. And when it comes down to the ad blockers, the one I use is just called ad block for Samsung internet. And it shows you how many ads were blocked. And there's other ones you can choose. But again, I just use the one that is, you know, from Samsung themselves that was made by them. And then lastly, what I wanna show off is the two brand new things that came along with the latest update, which is on the top right hand side, when you're taking a look at all of your tabs, you can view it as a grid. And this is what the grid looks like. On the Samsung, the older internet, the the one that's on most phones, 
This one, when you take a look at everything, uh, it, I mean, it's kind of a grid, I guess you can say, but it still kind of like looks stacked. It doesn't look as good as what this looks like right here. Uh, so you can change all of that. So this is the new grid. Then also you can auto close these tabs. So if you forget to close tabs and you're somebody who has a million tabs, maybe after seven days after you're using that tab, it will be closed. Maybe after 30 days, or you could do the smart tab management and it'll choose when it should delete, depending on if you ever open it back up a few times here and there. So you can either have never seven days or 30 days. So you have the auto close of the unused tabs and then you have the tab view. So this right here, this is the brand new Samsung internet and I'm calling it the brand new Samsung internet, even though it is the internet beta, because once this is done, this will become the new Samsung internet. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely, you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.